Hey guys, happy Sunday. I'm here, my 90 day challenge. Don't have my sunglasses on, so that's different. <laughs> trying to switch it up here a little bit. Anyways, pulled over, trying to get my uh, video in. It's been hectic with uh, Kelly's birthday and everything. Uh, it, was a six, it was a success. It was very fun, good times, nonstop, activity after activity. I was gonna film, I was gonna try to get something going to uh, podcast or uh, publish myself, but uh, I didn't get to it. In fact, I switched into my board shorts, left my phone in the room, and I uh, never got back to it until later that evening. So I'm down two days without a video on my 90 day challenge. So I think that's still an A in my books. So <laughs> anyways, today's topic I wanted to talk about is laughing at yourself <laughs> I do that all the time and you have to uh, my mom taught me when I was in school uh, I think this was elementary school I was a very shy a very quiet child and I I wore uh, what mom dressed me in so I wasn't necessarily the cool kid in elementary school and I didn't really blossom until I would say Eighth grade, where I went out to uh, D.C. with a bunch of group, bunch of guys, and I started uh, having fun and just being myself and not caring what other people thought and not being shy. But a lot that has helped me was my mother, my dad, taught me to laugh at myself, be okay. Um, what can I say? Be the first to the punch. And being able to read people, like if you have a bully or just in everyday life and you're embarrassed in a subject, uh, just kind of, you can point it out before someone can get to it and make fun of you and embarrass you. Or if someone does, just laugh at it and just in make it funny. It's interesting too, like I've noticed in the past when you laugh at yourself and you can't be a target for someone to pick on and they move on they're looking for an easy target and when you laugh at them or you're witty and you throw it back on them or you just uh, make it silly and like it's nothing it's that doesn't bother you people just move on or they laugh with you and it, it's more of a a bond friendship kind of making fun of each other type thing than an actual uh, bully or trying to uh, put someone down. Uh, it's really helped with me and it kind of goes into the topic of uh, thinking. And I, I do a lot of self thinking or how do you, how do you say this? The, the consciousness in my head. Um, I do a lot of like premeditating thinking. So like, let's say I'm going into an interview, I'm going to kind of premeditate all the possible questions they ask me and I'm gonna have a answer for those. Or if I'm going to, I'm coming home from, I don't know, every situation that could possibly come up that I'm thinking, I'm premeditating answers that could be needed for the topic in, uh, I don't know, if you, have, if you come across a, a boss or an employee who's always saying things or putting you down or making you feel like you're your squatter, um, if you're gonna run into him, kind of premeditate all the things that he goes through and have a comeback for him and just kind of be witty. Um, comebacks, you know, uh, that makes sense. I know I kind of may be rambling on to this little area, but basically beat the component to the punch, which also kind of goes into being able to read people and uh, I'm under the category of people pleaser so I would say my thinking is my best and worst attribute because doing things like this talking in front of people I am thinking of what other people are thinking to me or on the other end I let people walk over me uh, someone says to walk five miles I walk five miles you know if it's gonna make them happy uh, I mean, not to that extent, you know what I'm saying in life in general, 
uh, I just kind of do as I'm told and I just kind of move on and I don't like drama I don't like controversy um, especially nowadays with the topics of politics religion um, all these sensitive topics I've kind of I don't bring them up I don't avoid them but I don't start them and I'm trying to learn to kind of voice my opinion in uh, different topics and I think we should be free to express our topics have opinion without being bashed or uh, looked down upon and I think that's one thing that we've kind of lost in today's society is healthy negotiations um, healthy uh, debating being able to talk and debate topics and that's I think that's how we grow and I'm not always right and you know I might hear something and think oh that's right on and then someone's gonna go hey but look at this side over here I'm like oh okay I see that point you know we need to have an open mind that's another thing too is I think people they get glued to their their mentality of a, a topic and it doesn't matter if it's true or if it's wrong that's what they're gonna stick with and I think they feel that if it's not what they originally said that it makes them look um, less smart or um, I don't know I, I mean it's it's good to be open it's good to acknowledge wrong it's a good to acknowledge your fault and vice versa um, it's good to stick up and if you have facts and truth you need to speak it and, and that's how we go that's how the world goes around I think that's how we learn and I think that's how businesses work too if someone has a product that's okay and someone else comes out with a better product that's how we grow and that's how we establish the uh, new things like the electric car and the enhancements in um, internet and social media and business and the transfer of money and all these different topics I think it's it's good to acknowledge where there's weakness there's a good to uh, be open-minded on different possibilities out there um, but anyways I kind of went into a different topic but for me in life I love to be silly I love to laugh and I, I notice um, I've been less of that as I was in high school in high school if you knew me I was kind of the the guinea pig I was kind of the guy to go to to do something silly or funny and they nicknamed me Dino we had a little crew in high school and we were WAC whack was our our crew and uh, you can take it for what it was but it was a fun little crew that we had as guys and we had a lot of fun together and anyways my nickname was Dino and the reason my nickname was Dino was because there was this comedian goat boy I forgot his his name but he <laughs> so goat boy his character this comedian's character was half boy and half goat and I'll do a little scene here even though I'm embarrassed you guys can laugh at me because I'm gonna laugh at myself first but <laughs> he's it's the story and his character half go half boy is having a conversation with someone and as he's talking to him <laughs> the goat comes out so he'd be like yeah I was walking down the <laughs> And like he was a goat and a boy and so anyways <laughs> you got to look it up it's on YouTube if you type go boy I'm sure it'll come out but he did when Jurassic Park first came out Jurassic Park came out he did um, an impression of a dinosaur and he did these hand movements and he did like and I, <laughs> I would do that at school and I kind of would do that in uh, random places at random times and just being really uh, weird <laughs> and so my name was Dino we would have dinosaur battles battles and we would go out there and I don't know 
we were being kids and just having fun. Anyways, where'd I go with that? I kind of lost track. But anyways, it's good to be... Oh, I went way off on my topic, but have fun. Basically, have fun in life. Don't take life so serious. Laugh at yourself. If you can be strong in yourself and where you're at, then you are ahead of the game. I think if you can enjoy life and laugh and try not to take things seriously, um, when things go wrong, I know like in traffic, you almost just, for me in my mind, because I drive from Burbank sometimes on Fridays and heavy traffic, it can take me two hours to get home and I'll just put podcast on and listen to the podcast and educate myself and it's a mindset you really have to put yourself in a mindset in all different situations um, and when someone cuts you off you have to think okay have I ever done any violations to the traffic laws and I'm sure the answer to all that is yes we've all have sped speed sped um, we've all ran red lights stop signs and so when someone does it to us we get all like what the heck Come on, we forget we're we're just as at fault. We've done that to someone as well. And if you can kind of think of that and someone cuts you off and you're just like, all right, well, I've done that too, you know, whatever. You, you go on and do your thing. I'm just gonna do my thing. And I've also noticed that if I just stay in one lane, I listen to the podcast, I'm gonna end up at the same place around the same time. You're not gonna save much time when you're having road rage and driving in and out of stuff and same with lions in the store I was at Target the other day getting something for my daughter and th this girl was behind me at self checkout and I'm telling you there was like one person in front of us and I, yeah it was crowded and they could have opened up another uh, checkout line but I mean come on just it would have taken 10 minutes if she just would have stayed in one place she was bouncing all over trying to find a fast lane and she was complaining to the person to get someone else and she was getting so stressed and she came behind me finally after all this and started like complaining to me and I just said oh I'm sure they're trying their best and you know it's like what can you do right and she kind of sighed and yeah I guess she's like oh I'm just in a rush and I'm like yeah I know what you mean you know we're all in a rush right and she really didn't have any comment and I think she just knew that she had approached the wrong person to talk and complain. I was being nice. We ended up talking about my daughter having a birthday and she kind of calmed down. We changed the topic and before you know it, we were at our check stand. But it's just everything is how you, how you approach it mentally. And it all comes to that self-talk and self-realization. Here I am messing up words, but anyways, I'm coming to my end, 15 minutes, I'm trying to get here 15 minutes each video so I can post it on YouTube, and uh, that goes into a podcast that I was listening to, and they're saying that IGTT, IGTV is good for five minutes and under, YouTube, you wanna be 10 minutes and over, uh, all these different like criteria. this guy was, uh, very well established in the social media area. He has got like 2 million followers. So I think his critiques are pretty uh, legit. So I'm going to try to keep to those 15 minutes so I can post it. Oh, and also 15 minutes is the max for IGTV. So anyways, here I am doing my video on a Sunday. I got work tonight and back to the grind. I wish you all well. I hope someone got something out of this. Uh, my 90 day challenge. Peace.